Welcome to Invictus Motors. Now, these Aston Martin V8 Vantages are becoming quite a, uh, quite a common appearance on our forecourt lately, but this one is particularly special, and the reasons why I'll go into in today's video. The V8 Vantage has a very strong background because the original V8 Vantage from the 70s, it was actually the fastest car in the world at the time of launch. It could accelerate from 0 to 60 in 5.3 seconds. Now, this was actually quicker than the Ferrari Daytona, the Lamborghini Countach, and even the mighty Porsche 911 Turbo. Now, Aston Martin goes hand in hand with the James Bond films. It's an Aston Martin, we can't not mention James Bond. Now, there's been many different Aston Martins in various James Bond films, such as the DB DB5 in Goldfinger, there was a V8 Vantage in The Living Daylights, a Vanquish in Die Another Day, the DBS featured in Casino Royale, and Aston Martin even built a bespoke car for the film Spectre, the DB10. Only 10 of these were produced, and it's one of the rarest Aston Martins ever made. Now, it's not just James Bond films that the Aston Martins have starred in. One of the most notable films is the Johnny English films. Now, these were a spy spin-off that was a bit of a piss take of the James Bond films, starring Rowan Atkinson, who most people know as Mr Bean. But it's not just spy films that Aston Martins have been in. They have actually starred in a surprisingly high number of films, such as Fast and Furious, Cannonball Run, the Mission Impossible TV series, The Persuaders, Tomb Raider, and Gone in 60 Seconds. So these cars are not afraid of being on the silver screen. This has the ASM clutch kit, which is a big improvement over the standard one because it's much lighter, more long-lived, and is a much, gives you a much smoother gear change. So it transforms the way this car behaves. This car is finished in onyx black metallic, which is an exceptionally good color on one of these cars. You also have these 19 inch 20 spoke alloys, HID headlamps, you've got the dark finish grille, and power folding mirrors, which are another really nice touch on this car. Now, some of you may not have originally noticed on this car is the number plate is actually mounted a bit further down than what it would normally be. It should be mounted here, where these two bolt holes are, but the previous owner has actually lowered it down, which means that you shows off the grille a bit better, and it gives it a more clean look at the front, which is a rather smart little addition. Now, all Aston Martins are hand-built vehicles, which not many manufacturers can say that these days, because there's an awful lot of automation nowadays, robots doing this and that, but an Aston Martin is still handcrafted. And even individually inspected by various people, this one was inspected by Dean Britton, as according to the, uh, the plaque on the front here. So it just goes to show how much care and attention goes into every single one of these cars. Now something unique about these cars is the door handle. You have to push it carefully there and it folds out like that. No other car has it, every other car will just have a conventional door handle. Even million pound hypercars do, but Aston Martin have gone to the care and attention of creating a unique mechanism just for this car. The work of this vehicle is this vent here. Now, unfortunately, it's not actually functional, it's just there for show, but it still looks absolutely incredible. You have this nice chrome strip going, going through the vent just to break it up, and then the chrome strip goes into this crease in the bodywork which then slowly blends its way into the rear arch. While the vents on the wings aren't functional, these vents at the top here, Al, are actually functional as well. And what's great about this is that on the V12 Vantage, there's, you have about four different vents on the front and it just looks too busy and overstyled, but this is a much cleaner look and just looks so much better. When you open the door of this car, you're greeted by these purple anodized kick plates which is a bit of an oddity. With cars of this performance, usually you'll have things like aluminium or carbon fiber, but on this you have purple, anodized metal. You've also got your cruise control, you've got black leather seats, which are super comfortable. You have your satellite navigation system, premium audio system, and just to top it all off, you can get a Lamy pen, which works, I think. Everywhere there is leather, your is complemented by silver stitching, which is a smart a little, a little addition to this car. You also get the crystal key, which is probably one of the most expensive keys in the world, costing £2,000. You even get an analogue clock, not digital, which gives you a really classy vibe. To finish it all off, your gear selector is all on the dashboard here. No gear lever, it's all on here. 
Now this is an idea. Now this must have been a really good idea because Ferrari decided to copy this idea on their models. You might be wondering where the handbrake is because there is nothing on the centre console, but it is in fact here between the seat and the kick plate. Unfortunately, you don't get any seats back here, but you do get a nice little storage compartment and even a couple of little hooks. So if you have anything you need to hang up, like a shirt or a bag, you have somewhere to put it. The 4.7 litre V8 from in this car produces 420 brake horsepower, 470 newton meters of torque. This all leads to a top speed of 179 miles an hour and a 0 to 60 time of 4.9 seconds. So this car is quick. This car isn't just about the numbers, it's also about how the car drives. Sounds amazing, drives amazing. I think that engine note says it all really. You may notice that the car has slightly heavy steering, but don't let that put you off. It's not a bad thing, it's a good thing because the handling on these is amazing. So when you get that corner just right, you were the one that did it. You're the one that feels responsible. It wasn't the car's electronic brain doing some magic behind the scenes. It really flatters you, this car. Now this Aston Martin has been maintained very well with the majority of its services being from Aston Martin. It's only the last two that are not Aston Martin because, well, the most recent one was done by us. This car has also had four owners from you and the last owner owned this car since March 2017. As always, please comment, like, and subscribe. Let us know what you thought. Give us ideas for new videos. And as, of, as always, we will see you in the next one.